Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Wrestling Night in the Empire. I am waiting to join by the expert Matt Sinister, and tonight we have a huge main event in store for you. It's a boot camp match with Iron Man Mike Mays and Killer Gorilla. That's right, Wade. Killer Gorilla finally has an opportunity to put Mike Mays in his place in one of his own style of matches, a boot camp match for the American hero. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that remains to be seen here tonight, but we got Justin Borden has an announcement to make, so let's go to the ring right now. The mic goes up to your to your mouth. Yeah, there you go. The mic goes up here, Borden. Since 2005, I've been here at PWF and um, never been suspended. Um, I've never had a break this long. Now, my retirement in 2010 was even this long. What? <laughs> you were wrong! Thank you. But, um, Eva is home to me. Let me talk about here. So, All I'm asking is I believe I served my time. I paid my uh, fine that I was given. Uh, but before that, I also like to apologize to a few people. Not Joey Ryan! No! Brandon! First of all, I want to apologize to all of you for any unprofessional conduct. No! No! It was just called! It was just called! I would also like to apologize to Jesse Fernandez for my unprofessional conduct. No! And then I have two more individuals I'd like to apologize for. One being Brandon Gasson. And the other one being Joey Ryan. Oh, wonderful. All right, here goes the new deputy commissioner, handsome Johnny Starr. Well, maybe Johnny Starr is finally going to do the right thing and fire this guy outright. What he did to Joey Ryan was absolutely ridiculous. I wouldn't say he deserves a firing, but he absolutely does deserve to fire him. Justin, thank you very much for coming out and apologizing. Reinstate! Reinstate! Jesse Hernandez, Frank, and myself, we have talked about this. November 1st, your suspension is done. What? November 1st, your what? will be lifted. What? What? Oh, come on. Matt Sinister left the uh, announce table here. Matt Sinister, Matt Sinister. That's ridiculous, Star. Do you know what this man did to Joey Ryan? Joey Ryan is the EWF World Heavyweight Champion. Now there is no question that Brandon Jackson was a number one contender. No question. But you have no right to just come out here and make a match. Got crazy ass on his mind. If he touches me, 
Stripping him is one option, but that's not what I was leaning for. So, Matt, have a wonderful night. Justin Borden, we welcome you back the 1st of November. And so, Cal, good luck with Brandon Gatsby tonight. Who's going to strip? I told you I would look into it if he did, but he didn't. I'm allergic. He can't put his hands on me. He didn't hit you in the night. I don't mean to cut you off, Commissioner, but what you're telling me is I could touch him. There will be disciplinary actions if you do get I could threaten him. I could scare him. I could make him throw up. I could go to his house and steal his food so he doesn't eat for a week. Yeah. Uh, nothing will change, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Justin Borden's suspension ends on November 1st. And we found out that SoCal Crazy, while he cannot touch Matt Sinister, there's no rules saying that he can't threaten them. He can't make his life a living hell, pretty much. SoCal Crazy mocking the expert Matt Sinister who's making his way back here to the announce table. This isn't funny, Wade. This huh? isn't funny. Hey, you better watch it. This isn't funny. He can't, I am an EWF legend. He can't touch it, but he can make your life a living hell still. Want to step into the ring? We will show you why this is the School of Hard Knocks. If you choose to train at the School of Hard Knocks, Jesse Hernandez will see to it that you will be prepared for a career in professional wrestling. Your success in the spotlight depends on your own desire to excel in the sport. The School of Hard Knocks is here to show you the way. Come train with the best at the School of Hard Knocks. Classes are Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., and Saturday mornings, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. School of Hard Knocks is located at the Sports Academy at 293 East Redlands Boulevard in San Bernardino, California. Log on to SOHKtraining.com to train with the best at the School of Hard Knocks. What were you doing in there? What was I doing in there? I mean, what was SoCal Crazy doing out there? SoCal Crazy had no business coming out there, and he had no business, he had no business putting his hands on me again, Wade. No business whatsoever. No business whatsoever putting his hands on me again, Wade. I am an EWF legend, an EWF legend. And he had no business putting his hands on me. You know, I carry this cane for a reason, Wade. I haven't been in that ring for eight years. Eight years, Wade. You think I want to be sitting at this table with you? With you? But no, I'm sitting here doing my job. I had to go in there and state an opinion about how I feel about what Justin Borden did to Joey Ryan, our EWF World Heavyweight Champion. And then SoCal Crazy decides, decides to come out and put his hands on me again. Mark my words, Wade, mark my words. He will not get away with this. He will not get away with this. EWF. Heavyweight championship belt, you know. You know, I think everyone thinks I'm supposed to be mad, I'm supposed to be upset that it was taken away from me. You know, I'm not the type. I'm not the type to bitch, I'm not the type to moan. I, I'm not gonna cry about it. You see, I've had that belt. I've taken it home with me. 
I know exactly how heavy it is. I know what it looks like. I know how it feels. So Joey, you on the other hand, cry and whine. Oh, there wasn't a contract signing even though everyone heard you. Call me out anytime, anywhere, any place. But it's all good, Joey. You see, one way or another, I will have that belt. That belt will come home with me. I'll enjoy the hell out of it. Next week, Dave the Bruiser. Oh man, it's it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun for me because you took out Roger. You took him out, he's out of action for I don't know how long, and I'm going in alone. That's fine. That's fine because like I said, it's gonna be fun. Because I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna beat the living crap out of you. I already took out your partner like you took out mine, and next week, I'm taking you out. Because that's what the A-list does. There's no rules here, Wade. This is an ODQ match. Boot camp match. One of the Rosati brothers got Maze's headband. Well, every once in a while, Blind Squirrel finds a nut. Ducks a clothesline, does Maze. Ducks a back elbow. Maze in now, oh, with a clothesline. Rocking the big man, kill a gorilla. Come on, gorilla! Come on, gorilla! Oh, wow, there's that brute strength there and that force by gorilla. Two and only gets it to. You know, I had a talk with Killer Gorilla before the show, Wade. And I told him basically, you're a monster and you need to be a monster. And he is a monster. He's a beast of a man is what Kill a Gorilla is. Live up to your name, kid. <laughs> Brutalize your opponents. Gorilla Army! Oh, uh, Gorilla now Army! on that injured arm of Mike Mays. See Mays dressed for the occasion. It's a boot camp match. Well, you know, he did serve for the military. The war hero is what Mike Mays is. War hero. Yes, sir. That's all well and good, Wade. Gorilla with all that strength there on that arm. And yeah, war heroes use weapons, Wade. They use guns, they use knives, they use grenades, they use tanks and helicopters and... Oh, my. Ma Mays doesn't have any of that. No, but he's got a fighting Fact, spirit. He doesn't even have his elbow. He's got his a... arm is injured. It, it is true. The injured arm is the one he usually hits See that. See how it's taped. Is right. he going to be able to deliver that elbow tonight, Wade? That, I don't think so. That remains to be seen. Oh, right, Kelly Girl! Oh, just launching him like like a rocket over that top to the outside. A gorilla now rolling to the outside right in front of us. What's he looking for? I have no idea what he's looking for. What is oh. going on? Oh, come on. What? Oh, kendo stick. Oh, I killed a gorilla with a, with a kendo stick. Anything goes here in this boot camp match. Also known as a oh. It's also known as a Singapore cane. You think uh, his time in the military uh, may have spent some time in Singapore? You, you never know. You never know. Oh, he's choking him. Perfectly legal. Refs can't do a thing about it. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's as legal as a wrist lock here. Why would anyone do a wrist lock in a boot camp match? I've seen stranger things. I believe that, Wade. I believe you have seen some strange things. I have seen I've some I've seen some of the people you hang out with. You are the voice of the resistance. Weird, weird people Wade hangs out with. Yeah. You wanted this! The killer gorilla is just... You're shouting at Mace, you wanted this. Yeah. The 
kill the gorilla now. Right here, right in front of us. And he's got that chair that Maze came out here Maze with. Maze brought that out with him. So Maze has no one to blame but himself. And if he gets beat up with his own chair. Well, even if he didn't bring it out, he has nobody to blame himself. It's no disqualification. This is the kind of atmosphere Killer Gorilla thrives in. Well, there's no rules. Oh, Maze moves out of the way, though, as Gorilla crashed into that turnbuckle. And now the clothesline in the corner there by Maze. Maze hops up on the middle rope. He's got Gorilla. Oh, the Bulldog face first into that chair. Maze makes a cover. One, two, and only gets a two. Oh, and you see, see what happened there, Wade? When he kicked out, Maze took a good shot on top of that chair. That was, a, that was a very sickening thud is what that was. Like a sickening snap. Oh, the chair shot right to the back there by Mays. Perfectly legal. And another one there There's by There's not a lot of authority on those because I don't think Mays can because of the condition of his right arm. Hey, it's like a golf club. It's all in the swing. Oh, just oh, I can tell it. you from personal experience, Wade, a steel chair hurts a lot more than a golf club. No, I'm talking about the technique of swing. Killer Gorilla now with that kendo stick again. What's he going to... Oh, right between the legs of Mike Mays. Killer Gorilla now. Right in that elbow, right in that injured arm. And now Killer Gorilla is choking Mike Mays with that kendo stick. And there's nothing anybody can do about it because it's perfectly legal. This is a boot camp match. It's Gorilla's doing the smart thing. He's going after Maze's arm. It's all legal. It's all legal. Using the ropes, using the kendo stick, using the chair. You know, everything that culminated up to this match, up to this moment right now, has been Killer Gorilla kind of stalking Mike Maze and attacking He's him from behind. making a name for himself. He always attacked him from behind. What, what, kind of, what kind of man attacks another man from behind? A man who wants to make a name for himself. A side rush leg sweep there with that kendo stick in hand there by Killer Gorilla. I think Maze might be regretting wanting this match. Oh, and another oh, shot there oh. to that injured arm. How much more of this is Maze going to be able to take before he's out of commission completely, though? Well, I, I think Maze is just one of these guys who's too stupid to know when to quit. You got to live to fight another day, Maze. Pick your battles. What are these process humanoids chanting? I can't understand them. Might as well be speaking Klingon. Again, Wade, you're just full of laughs. Why don't you light it up and roll yourself around the ring? I got a job to do. Mike Mays perched up to the top, comes in, oh, with a missile drop kick. Moving the big man, Killer Gorilla. Knocking him off his feet. He may have knocked the wind out of Gorilla there. Well, you're a man that size. Getting up isn't the problem. It's coming down, Wade. That's a lot of weight. Well, it only gets a two count. Does Mays there. <laughs> and both men, the, the, the carnage and the damage we've seen so far is taking effect here with these two. Both men are finally back up to their feet here. Gorilla comes in, Maze ducks that clothesline. Maze now is going to go for the slam. Oh, he, he was him. able to do it. He slammed him, even with that bad arm, Wade. Maze now with that chair. What are we going to see here? What's he doing? He's, he's hesitating. Well, he's making a big mistake, Wade, is it? Oh, wait, it lays it on top of him there. Maze oh, this is a mistake, Wade. He's going to do that elbow with that, the chair with, with that, that bad arm. What is Mike Mays thinking here? Mays up to the top here. Mays with the injured elbow and all. Oh, right into that chair. But what good did it do? What good did it 
do. He injured himself. I'm not. I, I, I question Mike Mays on that decision. I heard the help. What? Not a minute ago, Wayne, I just talked about how dumb he was. In the heat of the moment, Mike Mays may have just costed himself the match In the heat of the, the moment, Wayne, he thought about doing that. He thought about it. That wasn't a spur-of-the-moment decision. That wasn't acting on instinct. He thought about it. And that could cost him not only the match, that could cost him his career. Your arm don't work, you can't wrestle, Wade. That's true. And May is in the corner, using that one arm to grab onto the rope to pick himself back up. Gorilla goes this humanoids teach your children. The ring moved about three feet on that. Some of the things they say. Look at that gorilla trying to slap some. Some sits back into himself here. Get himself See how much the ropes bend when Gorilla steps on him? And then, uh, this is unusual for a big man like Killer Gorilla to go to the middle rope like he's doing he's there. Tough time getting up there. This does not look good for Mike Mays. I don't know if Mays knows where he is. Killer Gorilla now. He's up. He's standing up on the middle ropes. Mays just wobbling. Killer Gorilla comes in. Oh! oh! What a shot right there to the midsection. Oh! Right oh! to the top of the head. And Mays now is going to go to the top again. This didn't bode well earlier for him with that injured arm. Uh oh, wait a minute. Is he going to. He looked at his left arm. Oh! Yeah, with the left. Makes the cover on the Gorilla one, two. Everything he had, Wade, and I mean literally, he knew he had no use of that right arm, so he used his left. It was all he had left, and it was enough, and he beat Killer Gorilla. Yeah, that's it, folks. Iron Man Mike Mays victorious here tonight in the boot camp match. And that's all we have for you this week for Wrestling Night the Empire.